Hey, and welcome to my personal guide to the Global Digital Development Forum that will be happening on Wednesday and Thursday. I know GDDF can be overwhelming. We have over 150 different sessions over two days. And wow, I mean, even as a co-organizer, I get overwhelmed. So here is my personal guide in how to navigate GDDF to make sure that you are understanding where you should go on which day. So first off, it will be starting at 4 a.m. GMT. Why? Specifically so that our friends in South and Southeast Asia, it will start while they're at work so they don't have to get up early or stay up late to participate. And it'll stretch all the way to 7 p.m. GMT. So we have a full day and let's get into it starting at 4 a.m. GMT. Perfect in line for our friends in South Asia. We have a keynote here that Manisha will take us through the insights from Sri Lanka's Gotta Go Home protest. Uh, and it's amazing that we're gonna hear from people who are living in that protest moment at this very moment uh, and trying to make a better life for all of us using digital solutions. So then at 4.30, stretching to five o'clock, there will be lightning talks. This is the one that I'm actually really interested in, Sisters of Code, the first female coding club in Cambodia. There are also other lightning talks, but again, these are the ones that I thought of. So help you think through and prioritize your day. Uh, at 5 a.m. GMT, amazing breakout, the wickedness of exclusion in digital development. One of several breakouts at 5 a.m. GMT, perfect for our friends in South and Southeast Asia and those early birds in East Africa or Europe. So also coming online at 6 a.m. GMT will be this great lightning talk. Oops, I'm moving too fast. This great lightning talk on disaster preparedness in the Philippines, uh, which actually has the highest incidence of hurricane or typhoon landings of any country in the world. So now here we are at 6.30 GMT in our first series of workshops and breakouts. Uh, breakout sessions that include workshops. Here's our first workshop. How can you influ influence the future of elections? Uh, our friends in East Africa, 630 GMT, this should be ones you're focusing in on. It uh, has many uh, interesting insights from the East African uh, world, which definitely has some, well, challenges in elections like all of our countries do. Speaking from a country that had a challenging election just recently. So, um, starting at seven, we'll have some interesting lightning talks. Here's one, CBDC. What's that? That is a central bank digital currency. And Central African Public is now the second country to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. We should be noticing. We should be taking account of what does a central bank digital currency mean for digital development. I'm very excited for this lightning talk. So now we'll have a breakout, a series of breakouts at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. Here's a breakout, of course, I'm very uh, excited for and only slightly biased since I actually work with several of these people. This is Behind the Screens with Africa's Digital Economy Champions. I hope to see you there, 7.30 a.m. GMT. And then at 9 a.m. GMT, I have to tell you, this is the first session that I'm going to be so excited about at this year's uh, GDDF. Well, mainly because look, I'm up there and I will be bringing forth what I think is an amazing group of people to talk about how do we fund locally led digital development organizations, smaller, more innovative organizations than many of us work for. How can we fund them and help them scale and succeed? We'll have GSMA, APNIC, VC4A, Enable, and a group working with uh, FCDO on how we can really fund these organizations. So I hope to see you there Wednesday, 9 a.m. GMT. Next up, we have a very exciting uh, keynote presentation by Doreen Bogadan martin who is at the ITU and will be helping us understand the value of the ITU to the digital development community. Then we'll have some lightning talks. This is one I'm interested in, decolonizing the internet by bringing forth local languages. Right, trying to reduce this reliance on English or Spanish or Chinese or some of these other languages that really dominate the internet. Let's make it more interesting and colorful and locally relevant, to be very honest. 
So then we're going to have a breakout, one that I'm looking forward to, USAID's Digital Development Advisors. These are staff within USAID missions who are focused on bringing forward the digital strategy. I want to know what they're doing. I want to know how we can help them achieve their goals. So at noon at GMT, we have another keynote. This one is really focused on launching the local digital ecosystem. Manisha is going to lead us through this one, uh, another one. And now 9 a.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. GMT. This is a keynote I'm very looking forward to. It's an address from USAID Administrator Power. Uh, I'm hoping to hear some really new insights around the digital strategy and work that USAID is doing to promote digital development writ large. After that, we'll hear from some lightning talks. One that I am excited for is Jacqueline Carlson's telling us five things to know when developing an e-gov proposal for USAID. I think if you're developing an e-government proposal or any proposal, this is gonna be a very great lightning talk to listen to. Uh, key point, even if you come on after 1.30 GMT, you can watch this keynote at any time, sorry, this lightning talk at any time. Lightning talks will be alive for you to view the entire length of the conference. After that is a breakout session. Do you notice a theme? This is another USAID one. I like it though. This is how we're gonna explore USAID's approach to digital ecosystems. How are we gonna make them better? That's very interesting. That's at 2 p.m. GMT. And then at 4 p.m. GMT is a keynote that I'm excited for. This keynote, Satellites, AI, and Tree Samplings. How do we get digital development to improve climate change resilience and adaptation. Very cool keynote discussion. Looking forward to that and so should you. Then we'll have some lightning talks. This one I like, uh, Digital Solutions for Family Planning Policy. I started out in the health field in family planning. So excited to hear how this uh, lightning talk will play out. And then I am slightly biased, but I'm really looking forward to this workshop, Build Your Own Chatbot in 30 Minutes with a good friend of mine, Sam Reamer, and my colleague there at Deloitte, who will take us through this concept uh, at 5 p.m. GMT. And then at 6.30, 6 to 6.30 GMT, we'll have Victoria Wang, uh, among other lightning talks, but this one I like, it's shifting power around artificial intelligence solutions, how to make them better, how to do it right. And then we'll have a workshop, the Practitioner's Guide to Digital Principles Evaluation, right? So how do we do a principled evaluation? Hmm. I think this is going to be a fun one at 6.30 GMT. And then, yes, there is a second day, May 5th. Uh, from 1 to 4.30 GMT is the official GDDF uh, sessions. And we'll start with a keynote around Web3, which will then be followed by a panel discussion around Web3, uh, blockchains, uh, cryptocurrency, distributed autonomous organizations, and this entire ecosystem. How does it help or hurt digital development? Then I'm excited at 2 p.m. GMT will be a session that I'm leading around a climate change DAO, a distributed autonomous organization. Can we create a climate change DAO in 30 minutes or less? Join me at 2 p.m. GMT to find out. And then at 3 GMT, blockchain emergent or divergent. Yes, our second day of GDDF is very crypto focused as it should be because this emerging technology can change the way we do our work. So that is the official GDDF sessions, but I gotta tell you that there's some more interesting things to do. And that is this concept that we're gonna go over and uh, look at not that, but this, 16 exciting global digital development forum side sessions. So these are independently produced sessions, kind of like TEDx, uh, where people are doing sessions because there were so many good ones, we couldn't fit them all in the GDDF. My favorite personally is going to be 1130 GD, uh, GMT, where we discuss strategies for addressing myths and disinformation in East and Central Europe. If you go to this ICT Works post, you can click on that link and register for that session and then be told when it's going to happen. So um, there are also sessions there. And if you go here to the agenda and you scroll down to the bottom of this really amazing and long agenda, 
you will come to all these other side sessions where you can click on the link and RSVP for those side sessions as well. By the way, you don't have to wait till Tuesday or sorry, Wednesday or Thursday. You can log in today. The platform is open. It is here for your enjoyment. And we already have discussions happening. And my favorite discussion is, what is your earliest memory of technology? It's a photo thread and why? Because that is my daughter sitting on a laptop. Gotta love that that was her first experience sitting on a laptop. But then other people have talked about their experiences and working on an Atari and other fun technology. So you should join and jump into the GDDF platform, which is already open and waiting for you. You can RSVP to the agendas that you want to go and check out. Ooh, and don't forget the tech demos. Wow, I almost did. Definitely gonna go check those out. All right, so thank you very much. And I will see you at GDDF. Uh, and it should be an amazing day. Two days, actually. Wow, it's gonna be two days of intense content. I hope to see you there. Bye.